Hi, this is Henning from FlipNormals.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can set up image planes in ZBrush. This is a relatively straightforward process, but it's something I feel isn't properly documented anywhere else. So, uh, let's start out with a concept drawing, a front and a side view. The first thing we have to do is to take it into Photoshop and save out the two various views. This is easily done by just uh, using a crop tool, cropping one images, saving it, calling it front, undo, crop it again, save it, control shift S, and call this side. We now have two images, a front and a side view, which you can bring into ZBrush. Go into ZBrush, and um, the first thing we have to do is we have to get a tool up and running. So let's just, just select the Swerve 3D tool, hit make polymesh 3D, so we can now edit it, then just drag it out on a canvas. Hit the T key or go click here to go into edit mode. And we can now start to sculpt or whatever we want to do with it. The next thing we have to do is enable the floor. This is so we have a grid to, to work from. Enable X, Y, and Z. It's uh, pretty hard to see here. If you disable it, it's easier to see. You can see that it says X, Y, and Z. Click all three of them. And now we have a um, three-dimensional grid. Enable perspective view. And now we now have perspective. We can now pretty much load in our image plane on one of these planes here. The way we do this is to go to draw and just dock it over by clicking this button. Then we go under front. Uh, sorry, I just have to open up. There we go. Uh, front, back. And this is where we load in our front drawing, our front concept drawing. So click map one. Go under import and go to your desktop or wherever you saved it. There we go. Do the same thing for the left, right one. Map one, import, and set side drawing. And there we go. Uh, apologies, the wrong one. Import, side, there we go. So there we go. We now have something we can sculpt from. The problem is though, as you can see, it's um, the side view is the wrong way around, so we have to flip it. This is very simple, uh, we simply hit flip, and there we go. It's now been mirrored horizontally. There is one problem here, here though, or one potential problem. If you're doing this in a production and you're working with scale, you have your image planes need to match up the correct scale of your model. For instance, if you're bringing this in as an OBJ file, and it's already a, uh, it already has the correct scale, you need to make sure your image planes reflect that. So the way we can change the scale, let's just do it for the front view first, is to go under uh, the scale tab, and here you can simply scale it up and down. Be sure though to copy this value between the various ones. You really want these values to be the same. Uh, so just write it down or uh, just control C and just paste it. Just make absolutely sure that it's the same value. So if this is 1.2, you need to make sure that this is also 1.2. That's, uh, that's about it on how to set up image planes in ZBrush. It's relatively straightforward and pretty easy now once you know how to. Just to sum it up, you need a front view, a front view, a side view as separate image planes. Save them out in Photoshop, make sure they're all lined up. Then you go under um, your floor, enable it, make sure all axes are enabled. Go under draw and um, left, right and front, back and uh, set your, uh, and load in your image map, uh, flip it if necessary, and then adjust the scale. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.